Hello everyone, Andrew here with I Dream of Crafting. Uh, I apologize, it's been a uh, few days, maybe a week, that I haven't posted anything. Um, it's been really busy and my uh, parents actually needed my webcam. So I just finally got it back. So um, this is going to be a really quick, hopefully quick, um, video. I have tweaked the design for my wallets, the bifold and the clutches. So I'm going to uh, show you what I, uh, the changes I have made, and I'm very happy with the changes. They are working wonderfully so far. So um, I, I will leave a link to the tutorials for the wallets in somewhere, and the description. And um, you can follow that uh, up until the point where you're ex where you're assembling the wallet. Um, so that you're putting, you know, the both sides together, um, and then you can hop over here, and I'll go to those videos, and I'll post a uh, a link to this one. So um, the changes I made, um, I, I'm starting to clear tape more of the seams. So uh, this is an older wallet I did. Um, the inside of these seams right here, and these seams right here that are on the outside, um, I am now clear taping these. Um, it makes, uh, you know, makes it smoother, obviously, and it, and it protects this sticky part so that it doesn't come up as easily but the most radical change that I'm making is the sides so you see in this one where I have a little bit of sticky there and um, you know you would have to cover that up with clear tape or duct tape well this is a wallet a new design for the wallet so all of this all of these seams inside and out are clear taped and as you can see in the corners here that's all covered. Now I know that seems, if you've ever tried to do it, it's very difficult, especially to get it to lay that straight and that flat when the wallet's already together like this. So I, um, I'm actually, I actually put those sides in before I assemble the wallet, and that is what this, um, this that is what this video is going to be about. So I have. Um, I have two wallets I'm working on. One is a bifold of the Avengers. It's not together yet because I'm going to show you how to put those sides in. And then I made a black and red with the glitter tape um, as trim. This is going to be a clutch and I will show you how to do the sides for those because those are a little bit different. Not completely, but a little bit. It, it took me a little, took me a few minutes to figure out how to do the clutches. So. Um, if you haven't made one of my wallets, please go to the description, um, or any of these links. I will put, um, one for the wallet and one for the clutch, and you can go there and follow the instructions until you get to the point where we, where we start to put these, um, together and on the wallet. So, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have a bifold here. It is to the point where I have put the two billfolds together and have covered the sticky. And now, um, and if you've watched my other tutorial, it's at this point that I would put these together and then fold over the sides to, you know, um, close up this wallet, but, um, that would leave sticky on the inside where your sides are. So, what I've found to do, um, it's a similar technique to the one I used, um, on my duct tape bags, and I will leave a link so you can see that, um, and hopefully that'll clear up any confusion if, if there is any in this video. Um, I What we're going to do is you want two strips of tape that are half an inch um, wide, wide and this billfold, both of these, these billfolds are three inches but you don't want your side tape to go t all the way up to the top because then you'd get sticky up here. So what you want is you want to cut your tape so that it's just below the three inch line. So it's really helpful if you have one of these boards that have the um, hash marks on the top. My board, these dots right here that correlate to these hash marks up here, they're ha those are quarter inch um, lines. So, um, so these in between are eighth inch. So what you want to do, if you don't have one of these boards, that's okay. Just measure out three inches and then cut just a little bit below the three inch line mark. If you do have one of these boards, you want to cut on that first hash mark that's right below or right 
right underneath your three inch line and that'll be your eighth inch mark. So you want to cut right, you know, you want to cut an eighth of an inch uh, below the three inch mark just to give yourself a little breathing room. So what you want to do is, I, ha I leave these tabs on the side here um, for the sides. That's just my technique because I like to fold them over. I think it adds a bit more stability to the wallet, but if you don't, that's perfectly fine. So if you do though, fold it back so that it doesn't get stuck on this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take one of your um, half inch pieces and you're going to put the sticky half on half off. You don't have to be too precise with it. Just make sure you're below the top of your wallet and make sure that you can fold it back towards you so that the sticky is exposed. So you want half on the wallet and then half onto the board. Then you're going to take, you're, you're going to need four of these little tiny pieces. It doesn't matter the measurement, it really doesn't. Just make sure they're small. Um, so you want four of these, two for each side. So we're going to fold this back and you're going to pull back this sticky with these little tiny um, pieces of tape here. Um, for the bottom, closer to your, um, you know, your, the bottom of your uh, billfold, don't put it all the way to the bottom because that'll just make it really hard to get out. You can get it out, but it's just really hard. But as you can see, hopefully, this is not on here very much. So the, the less you have on here, the easier it's going to be later on to reach in and pull these off. So do not put this tape on this sticky too much. So you don't want, let me get another strip here. You don't want to put your little tabs here, like all the way here. You know, just a little tiny bit on, just enough, just enough to hold that sticky back. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So here's your second piece of half inch tape half on and half off. Then you're going to fold it back and place this tape just on the sticky so it will hold back the sticky. Alright, so you should have something that looks like that. Now we are going to close up the wallet. So once again, if you have these tabs, make sure they're out of the way. You don't want to get them stuck yet. And then you're simply going to fold this over. Okay, I apologize for that. I had to take um, I had to take that tape out of the duct tape because it was making it too thick. So I just took that off and I clear taped this seam. So um, so now we're back where we were um, with these uh, two sides here. So all you're gonna do is you're going to fold this up and make sure that that tape adheres on both sides of the build fold. So you're simply, that I'm just folding it up. So it looks like that about, now this is sealed, or it's connected. Once again, I'm going to take a heavy weight just to make sure my uh, sides stay straight. Mm. I gotta fix this camera. My setup is all messed up because I had to give my camera to my parents. So, I'm gonna take a heavy weight just to keep the plastic of the ID down. And then I'm gonna fold this up just like any other wallet. But you're just gonna fold it up and over to seal that side. And I like to run my finger just along this seam here um, to adhere that sticky to the sticky on the inside. Once again, we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to hold these pockets down over here so they stay flat and straight while I fold this up and over. Okay. Oopsies. Now I have these little tails because I like to um, I like to have these little tails. So I fold it over just a little bit so that this corner here, this little corner, seals. Then I c 
cut that corner to, to completely seal it in and get rid of the non-sticky tape and then I fold it up to seal that all that's doing is sealing this corner so there's no sticky in that corner I've had a lot of problems um, making wallets over the years where there you know you get that sticky corner this is the way I, I have found to deal with that so there's your corners now one more step well two more steps but so now when you open this wallet if you can see it you know you can't open it completely because you got these um, four connectors in there so all you're gonna do is you're gonna reach in there pull it out and then I like to just you know push this down so that it adheres on both sides and there is your first corner so just do the uh, remove all your little connectors and then push down to make sure um, it adheres to both sides of the billfold and that is how I have found to um, get rid of that annoying stickiness on the sides of the wallet. Alright, now I'm going to take this off. This was holding my plastic in place so it didn't move while I was assembling the wallet. And then as with any wallet, you just want to come in here and make your slits for your um, ID, or make the slits for your cards, your ID and your cards and your hidden pockets, whatever you put on your wallet. Just make all these slits so that you can use those cards. And there you go. Open them up, make sure they work. And there you go. Alright, so um, I'm going to pause this video and get set up for the next one. The next one will be how to do this, do this same process, but on a clutch wallet. Okay, so here is part two. This is um, a clutch wallet that I'm doing. So I have the sheet completed. I've clear taped these seams. Um, and I have my two billfolds completed and ready to go. Um, I can't remember if I showed you these at the beginning of the video or not. But um, if I did, you would know, you'll would you probably notice that these are no longer the glitter tape. The glitter tape was not staying down it wasn't it was peeling off the duct tape so I decided just to rip it, rip it up and replace it with red tape so um, so here we go you're gonna take your first billfold that you want on the bottom and we're gonna flip this or I'm sorry no we're not gonna flip this over we're going to um, proceed as normal so you're gonna line this up at the bottom and take your exacto knife, make two lines, two slits in the tape straight down from the uh, these corners down here. You're gonna line this up with the very bottom of the duct tape, not the sticky, but just the duct tape, the black or well, whatever whatever is your inside color. Mine is black. And then we're gonna flip this up. And there we go, and we're going to, I don't have any, so I'm going to really quickly cut some here to cover up that seam. We're going, oopsies, we're going to cover it with um, clear tape here. Come on. You see I have some strips, strips over here. These are going to be for um, the sides, for closing up the sides. I want 8 inches of clear tape since my billfold is 8 inches and I want to cover that whole sticky part. I'm going to cut two pieces here since I have two billfolds. Alright, bring this back here. Okay.
And just cover this up, making sure not to put the clear tape on your sides here. You just want it along this edge down here. Use your nail to push it into the crevice there so that the sticky part will get trapped. Now what you want to do is you want to take uh, one of your half pieces here. Once again be careful of this is just like the bifold um, up until this point. So once again half on half off And if your pieces are a bit too long, if they're, you know, hitting the top of your bell fold, just cut them down. It's no big deal. And then take your pieces of tape to hold back that sticky. And repeat that process on the other side. Now that you have those, we're simply going to fold this up, making sure the ends are even here. Now just back to a normal process now for um, the wallet, you're going to cut a slit where your billfold is. You can either cut it up here where it actually ends. I like to do mine a little bit lower, just a smidge. And then you're going to fold this up and smooth it down to trap those card slots on that side. And do the same on this side. Okay. Flip it over. And just as I did for the billfold, fold this over to encase that corner then cut off the tape you just folded over and fold this up and the same on this side depending on how depending on your wallet how much you have to fold over will vary um, no, no wallet is going to be the same. I've, I've made several wallets the past few days and every time I do this step it's different. So um, don't expect it to be the same every time because it won't, I guarantee. So then we're going to reach in here just like we did with the bifold. I'm going to take these off and flatten the seam or flatten the tape against the two bill folds. And, and you really can't use these tabs more than a couple times because they uh, they break on you, as you saw that one. All right, so there is your first one done. Now the second one was a little tricky, but it's not too bad. I'm gonna cut new tabs here because these are gonna break on me. So I just have some scrap tape here. That's all you need is just scrap tape. I cut mine about a quarter of an inch. It really, really does not matter how big or small you make these. I mean, the bigger you make them, the easier it will be to get them off, you know, in, in case you make them really small. But it really doesn't matter. So we're going to put that up there. We're going to go move on to our second fold here. This one you have to 
cut out an extra piece of tape to attach it to the wallet. I'm going to use a candle, my heavy object once more to hold down that plastic while I adhere this tape. I go about a quarter of an inch up. And smooth it down. If it's a little short, don't worry about it because you're going to have tape here and here to seal it, so it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to bring our wallet back. There we go. And now we're just going to place this. Now once again, as I stated in my other tutorial, you can, you can lift this up and place it however many times you want. Um, until you get it where you want it to be. So just, you know, check how you want it. Now I have a little sticker here that I made yesterday that it was originally for a mini canvas but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to so this is the reason I'm making this wallet the way it is. So I want to make sure my little Berry here can fit. So it's a little bit short. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this billfold down a little bit more so that I can have more of a flap up here. Okay, that should work. Oh yeah, that'll work. Okay, so. Now that you have your billfold in place, I'm going to put my little fairy back on there. You're going to, just like down here, you're going to fold this back and put a piece of clear tape on that seam. And this one's a little bit different because it's a little raised off the wallet, so you really want to push that tape into that into the crease since it's a little raised. And then what you want to do is very similar to um, what you did before. You're going to take your tape, fold this back. Watch now; these can't really be folded back, so you're just going to have to be careful and put your tape half on, half off the wallet, or I'm sorry, the billfold, take your tabs here, and fold these back, and I'm, I apologize, the tabs are black, but you get the idea. Once again, half on, half off, fold back, and tabs to hold. Alright. Now once again we're just going to fold this back up. Alright. And more of the same. We're going to cut these seams where they meet. I like to hold down my plastic once more doing the, when I'm doing this step. Completely optional to you. Uh, you don't have to. Um, and I should have said something, but I like to, um, I didn't do this before, but I'll do it now. We'll just take this off. So, where this, this gap here between this billfold and this billfold, I like to cut a little slit there, just so I can get this tape flush against the side, because if you don't, it'll bunch out and not look as nice. So once again, I'm just going to fold this back over. And the same on this side. Ok, 
Hmm? And clean up any sticky that you might have. All right. Then once again, you're just going to reach in here and pull out your tabs. I put these down a little too whoa, too far, but if you do, just use your exacto knife and catch the end of this tape down here and just pull it off being careful not to you know poke any tape you don't want to but that's why you really don't want to put those bottom ones too far down because they're a pain to get out um, you don't necessarily need the two bottom ones I do I like having them down there but if you don't you don't have to so just push that against there all right, and then we're just going to finish the wallet as per usual here. So make two slits and fold this down to make a nice edge for the top. And then we're going to fold over. And then just like the bifold, we're going to fold these corners in. And then fold them up. And then, of course, you would just take off your holding tape if you use that, and then cut slits for your pockets, and then you would, and then a little Velcro, and you would be done. So you have a wallet, two wallets actually, with um, no sticky on the sides. So I hope you enjoyed this little update of the wallets. Um, I hope you uh, will at least try this technique. I really do enjoy it. So if you have any uh, questions, comments, or requests, please leave them in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Subscribe for more videos. And um, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.